Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another Table Talk. So in uh, this video I'd like to give you my review of the Gemfan Flash 6042 uh, two-bladed prop uh, that I've been doing quite a bit of bench and uh, field testing with over the last couple of weeks. And <clears throat> it's, uh, it's turned out to be, I guess, probably my favorite uh, six-inch two-blade prop right now for, uh, for use in my park depths like these uh, beauties up here against the wall. Uh, so, you know, you buy it. I bought this from Banggood. You can buy them from all over the place. Uh, come uh, four in a pack, uh, two, uh, you know, they, two that spin uh, in each direction, so clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever way you want to look at it. So for a park jet, you know, you can use all of those because you can just reverse the motor direction and, and uh, spin it the other way if you need to. Um, so basically the prop, uh, it, you know, it has a five millimeter hub in the middle, so it fits on... Um, you know, quad motors, it fits on the prop collets that go on these uh, uh, 2212 size motors. Um, it's actually, I just measured it, it's actually slightly longer than 6 inches. It's about, you know, 6 and a 16th. Uh, I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but, uh, you know, every, every little bit helps. Uh, you can see it's, a, it's got a pretty, uh, you know, beefy blade uh, width-wise. Uh, pretty, um, you know, pretty, pretty aggressive right from the hub uh, all the way out uh, to the end of the prop here hopefully you can see it that way and it also has almost like a, a scoop um, I guess I guess you would call that if you were comparing it to a wing it almost is like an under camber uh, so it really <clears throat> it really moves uh, a lot of air around now I've uh, field tested it on uh, 2212 6 2200 uh, 2212 2700 the uh, Racer Star uh, 2406 2600, and also the uh, the GEP RC uh, 2306 2750, and it has uh, on 3S, and it has proven to be uh, a faster prop than all of these uh, these other props. Uh, this is the Gem Fan. It's uh, for the 2600 and below. Uh, this Gem Fan. Uh, 6045 carbon nylon is very very close but you can see that this, this is a very very stiff prop but it's also quite brittle uh, so in a park jet you know when you're coming into land sometimes you clip the uh, the tip of it and I've broken several of these props so I haven't used it for a very very long time which is kind of disappointing because it does provide a lot of uh, of good power so this is a, a you know a far more flexible prop but uh, you know it's very stiff it just starts to flex sort of in the last inch or so it's pretty stiff from the hub out to about here um, they've all balanced up uh, quite well uh, I haven't had any problems with the hubs being out of balance um, a couple of them I have had to do a little bit of balancing on one of the blades just to uh, you know get them really really well balanced you know especially because I'm going to spin them on such high RPM uh, motors so compared to uh, this is the 6x4 APC gas which uh, <clears throat> you know for a long time on 3S on, on the bulk of my park jet motors has been my favorite prop for probably a couple of years now um, <clears throat> it doesn't this prop the acceleration is um, is uh, fairly soft um, you know it's not like instantaneous but you know it is a beefier prop and also with that little bit of extra pitch it uh, you know it takes a little bit longer to get going but with all the motors once it starts to get wound out it you know it continues to wind out right out till the end of the throttle um, uh, range so that's uh, really good that way uh, this is the King Kong 6040 which I've used quite a bit uh, in comparison this is a quite a bit more flexible prop uh, than this uh, gem fan flash and uh, I do find especially on the higher KV motors as you get up towards the end of the prop range or the, the throttle range it does seem to flatten out a bit and doesn't uh, keep providing <coughs> pardon me power uh, but it, you know it's it's pretty uh, cheap uh, compared to the 6x3 this is a 6x3 uh, EMP TGS KMP it's also a longer prop uh, you know it's a 6 and 16th or sometimes I've had them around 6 and an 8 uh, this definitely provides much better uh, whole shot acceleration, but uh, you know overall this provides uh, better uh, power. Um, so on all of these motors here that I've mentioned, it uh, tested uh, the best on the bench of any six-inch two-blade prop I've tested. Although, like I said, a little bit 
uh, fairly close to the gem fan 6045 uh, carbon nylon. And in the air, it, uh, it performed better than any of these other props uh, for what I expect out of my park jets on 3S uh, anyway. Uh, none of the, all of these motors uh, have enough torque to, uh, you know, to, to uh, wind it right out, like none of them bog down. Uh, I did bench test it on the Brother Hobby 2207.5 3400, the Brother Hobby Speed Shield that I've been uh, testing a lot, and it definitely, I think, because it, you know, it has a quite a bit higher KV uh, on the bench, I could, it was really bogging down at full throttle, and it was re super, super amp, amp hungry. I can almost hear it sucking the juice out of the battery. So I don't think I would run that this prop on that motor. It's just a bit too much prop. Excuse me. Um, also, uh, I don't know that I would run this on 4S. I might, I might have the amp overhead to run it on 4S on the uh, 2406, 2600. Uh, you know, <coughs> I might, I might uh, take a chance and try that out someday. I haven't bench tested it, so I don't really know what the amp draw is going to be. Um, one of the things that I really like about this prop is that uh, in the mid-range, sort of, uh, you know, 50 to 70 percent throttle. It really, really, with all of these motors, it really, really holds the speed well, you know, like so, it, and it holds uh, the energy. So you can kind of, um, <coughs> pardon me, you know, in between your high speed runs or your vertical climb outs or whatever, you can kind of just pin the throttle at around 60% or so, and it allows the plane to really, really hold uh, its energy uh, really, really well. Uh, so far, these little tips, like you can see it has like a, a little, the little tip is sort of swept swept down and back. Um, these are actually still pretty uh, uh, robust, so I haven't had a problem with any of those uh, folding over yet. Uh, I think I probably have in total now about 50 flights uh, between all of these uh, four motors. So uh, yeah, so it's holding up uh, really, really well. So I'm, I'm uh, very pleased with that. So uh, I'll have links down below to my, uh, my motor test spreadsheet. You can go on, uh, and, you know, and read the uh, details and compare uh, between props. Um, it does, you know, it is, because it does have a, a beefy blade and a little bit of extra pitch, um, <clears throat> you know, it does draw a few more amps, but it didn't push, other than this uh, 2212, 5T 2700, which I tested kind of uh, by mistake, had a bit of a senior moment. It did push this motor pretty darn hard on uh, on 3S, but these are these motors are, are pretty inexpensive, and I've beaten the living daylights out of several of them, and they just, uh, uh, I think I did have one where the bearings started to break down, but no matter how hot I ran them, they just kept coming back for more. Uh, but with the these other three motors, uh, no, no problem whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, so I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, like I said, uh, right now it has not let me down. I've been very, very pleased with its performance. And I would say that, you know, moving forward, uh, this is going to be my, my go-to uh, prop for many motors on, uh, on 3S. Um, <clears throat> you know, the one thing about props these days, uh, you know, if you've been watching my channel, uh, certainly the technology and innovation in uh, you know kind of the five inch uh, three blade uh, quad props like this one uh, you know the manufacturers have a wide range of uh, sizes shapes um, <clears throat> you know pitches uh, blade shapes <clears throat> that sort of thing but in a two two blade six inch prop uh, for use in a park jet you know there's not there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, playing around or innovation just because uh, you know this this five inch three blade quad uh, uh, prop is kind of where it's at in the hobby these days. So it's nice to find a prop uh, like this that'll work really, really well on a wide range of, uh, of quad uh, motors. So like I said, I might try this uh, motor with it on 4S eventually. I'll obviously bench test it first and, uh, and post the results on the thread that I maintain on the RC Powers forum, which I'll also link below. I'll also link all the videos, <coughs> my uh, flight videos, pardon me, I've got something in my throat here today. <clears throat> I'll also post all the flight videos of all of these motors here that I talked about down below if you want to go watch those. So, so there we go folks, uh, the Gemfan Flash 6042 uh, two-blade uh, prop, uh, really um, excellent find. 
for use in uh, park jets, and uh, I'm very, very pleased with its performance, uh, and I'll get, I'm sure, many, many uh, more flights of enjoyment out of it. So, uh, there we go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, uh, you know, as always, please post them down below, or, you know, if you just want to have a chat about this prop or any of these motors, uh, please do so. I'd be more than happy to try and help you out. So, thanks, thanks as always for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.